time when working in package chaser, a lab environment or a corporate setting, you should know how to select the appropriate cable and how to properly connect devices. This activity will examine device configuration in package chaser, selecting the proper cable based on the configuration and connecting the devices. This activity will also explore the physical view of the network in Package Tracer. So now we should have a look at the addressing table. The first column is the device name. The second column contains the interface of each device. The third column is the IP address of each interface on each device. And the last column connects to to guide you how to connect from the second column to the interface on the last column. Now we move on to part one, connect to the cloud. Step 1. Connect the cloud to the router 0. So at the bottom left, you can click on the connection icon. On the activity, we have to connect router 0 at interface F0 slash 0 to Cloud Ethernet 6. Cloud is a type of switch, so we use a copper straight through here, cable. Then I click on router 0 on port for Ethernet 0 slash 0 to connect to the cloud on the Ethernet 6. If you attack the correct cable, the link lies on the cable turn green. On step 2, we will connect the cloud to cable modem. We have to choose the correct cable to connect cloud course 7 to modem port 0 because the cloud you call 6, 7 so we have to use the Corsio cable from the cloud to port 0 on the cable modem you can see the link lies on the cable turn green. It means we attack the correct cable. On part two, we will connect router zero. Step one, connect router zero to router one. We have to choose the correct cable to connect router 0 on serial 0, 0, 0 to router 1, serial 0, 0. Now have a look at the serial cable. We have serial DCE and serial DTE cables. You can choose either of them. For example, I choose serial DCE cable to connect from router 0 on port serial 000 to router 1 on port serial 00. You can see the link lies on the cable turn green. Next we will connect router 0 to netarchive.pk 
we need to choose the correct cable to connect router 0 on port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to netarcad.pka port fast ethernet 0 because routers and computers traditional use the same wires to transmit wire number 1 and wire number 2 and receive on wire number 3 and wire number 6 the correct cable choose consists of these cross wires although many NICs or network interface card can now auto sense which pair is used to transmit and receive on this activity, router zero and netarcad.pka do not have auto sensing needs. Therefore, we need to use the copper crossover cable to connect from router zero on port on this port to netarcad on this port. The link lights turn on or turn green. Step 3. Connect router 0 to the configuration terminal. We have to choose correct cable to connect router 0 control to configuration terminal RS232. This cable does not provide network access to configuration terminal allows you to configure route zero through its terminal. So I choose the console cable connect from router zero on console port to the configuration terminal on RS232. Now we move on to part three connect remaining devices. The first step, we need to connect router 1 to switch. We have to choose the correct cable to connect router 1 on port FAT Ethernet 1 slot 0 to switch FAT Ethernet 0 slot 1. I will choose the copper straight through cable on router 1. On this port, on this port, you can see the connection error. The cable cannot be connected to that port. So I click again, FAT Ethernet 1 slot 0. You can see the icon of the port. This port. This port is not the copper port, it's optical port. So I have to choose the fiber cable to connect on that port to the switch on FAT Ethernet 0 slot 1. This is also the optical port. And now you can see after a few seconds, the light transition from amber to green. Step 2. Connect cable modem to wireless router. The cable modem will connect from port 1 to wireless router port. So I choose the copper straight through on port 1 to the internet port on wireless router device. You can see the link lights on the cable turn green. Step 3 connect wireless router to family PC. 
we need to choose the correct cable to connect wireless router Ethernet one to family PC. I will choose the copper crossover cable from the Ethernet one to the family PC on part Ethernet zero. But the link lies on the cable does not turn green so it's a wrong cable i delete this cable and choose the copper straight through cable you can see the link lies turn green On part 4, we will verify connection. Firstly, we will test the connection from family PC to net archive server. So after a few seconds, we get the results from the net arcade server. Now I open the web browser and enter the web address. You can see now we access to the web page on the net archive server. Step two, we will pin the switch from home PC. I get the IP address of the switch. So after a few seconds, we get the reply from switch. I can try again. So on the screen, we got four replies from the switch. On step three, I will open router zero from configuration terminal. I can accept the CLI interface on router zero. And I can show the summary of the interface status on router zero. Now we move on to part four, sorry, part five. So on part five, we will examine the physical topology. First, we will examine the cloud. I click on the physical workspace to toggle between the logical and physical 
workspace. This is physical and this is logical space. Home city, cloud. So on the cloud, you can see a power distribution device and the switch. On the switch, we can drag the mouse to the cable. For example, here, the source device cloud with the port Ethernet 6, the router 0, and the destination port, the part Ethernet, and the length of the cable and the cable tie, the copper straight through. And this cable is causal Now I click back to return to the main physical space. On step two, examine the primary network. You can see a right, on the right, is a power distribution device, the router zero, with many ties of ports. You can drag the mouse to each cable to see. For example, here is a cord, copper crossover. This is a serial cable. This one is copper crossover. The console and other ports. Back. Next, we examine the secondary network. On the secondary network, we also have a rack with a switch and router one. On router one, we can see the port zero zero slash zero. And the last, we examine the home network. At the home network, there's a family PC, a home PC, a cable modem, and a home printer. Here is the fat Ethernet port and the copper straight through cable connected to it. The PC with a wireless antenna, home printer, the wireless antenna, the cable modem, okay, that's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.